Hey YouTube, Matt here with Maple Mountain Fireplace. And today we're gonna show you a very specific video, how to make your pizza crust for the brick and flame wood-fired oven. All right, step one, we're gonna look at all of our ingredients. We've got some flour, yeast, salt, and honey. You could also substitute honey for agave or maple syrup. We're also gonna add a little bit of extra gluten. All right, activating the yeast, we're gonna add a cup and a half of warm water and only one teaspoon of dry active yeast. And we're also going to add two teaspoons of honey and I add maybe a little extra. Be generous with your honey. This will get the yeast activated quickly. So combine the rest of the ingredients in a mixing bowl. We've got three and three quarter cups of flour. We've added three teaspoons of gluten, which is equivalent to one tablespoon, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. We add a little extra gluten to give it that chewy texture that you want in the pizza crust. So we're gonna whisk in all the ingredients and get it ready to put in the bread mixer. So adding all the ingredients into the Bosch mixer, we are going to mix it for seven minutes on medium speed and then let it rest for 10 minutes. This lets the gluten relax a little bit, and then we're going to mix it again for another seven minutes. So if the dough is too dry, you wanna add a little bit of water to get it to stick to the sides a little bit so that it actually needs the dough. So now we're gonna remove the dough and we wanna chill it for a few hours. This will give it that texture and crunch that you really like. You can chill it overnight, you can chill it for a day or two. What it does is it resists the yeast from rising too fast and it gives it a better flavor and texture. If you don't have time to go overnight, at least give it a few hours, it's gonna make a big difference. So dividing the dough, this mixture will give you three to four pizzas. I'm doing mine in three. I wanted a little bit larger pizza, but you can go three to four and just start flattening it out and getting ready to roll it out into your pizza. And now we wanna make a pizza little bit of flour, continue to flatten it, roll it out to the desired thickness, and throw on the ingredients. So again, this video is just about the crust. You can make your pizza however you want and get that oven nice and hot, you know, 650, 700 degrees, and don't forget to rotate and make it delicious. Hey, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. We really appreciate your input.